Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sun right here, coming at you guys with a very, very, very beautiful but also timely prophetic word. Um, I have to say this, this prophetic word is not going to apply to everyone, okay, in this season. This is a word the Lord wants me to say. This is a word of multiplication and increase. A lot of you, when you partner with this word, when this becomes not only the meditation of your heart, but also the confession from your mouth, you shall see the fruit produced in your life from this word for those who are in a season of multiplication and increase to those whom the Lord has told that you have entered into your wealthy place. Okay. So, um, as soon as I woke up this morning, this was the prophetic utterance I heard in the spirit, abundance of the seas. And instantly I began thinking about the blessings of Moses, but also more importantly, the Lord led me to this other scripture. And both scriptures I'm going to be reading today is Amplified Classic Version. So Isaiah 60 and 5 says, Then you shall see and be radiant, and your heart shall thrill and tremble with joy at the glorious deliverance and be enlarged. Your heart shall be enlarged because the abundant wealth of the dead sea shall be returned or shall be turned to you. Unto you shall the nations come with their treasures. Now let's also look at Deuteronomy 33, 18 and 19. And of Zebulun, he said, rejoice Zebulun in your interests abroad and you Issachar in your tents at home. They shall call the people unto Mount Carmel. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck the abundance of the seas and the treasures hidden in the sand. So I wrote the prophetic word, okay? So the Lord said the abundance of the seas references the fish and also the different nations represented by the sea. The pictograph of the Hebrew letter Nun, N-U-N, is one of a fish and represents multiplicity and increase. It is said to represent faithfulness and the reward for faithfulness. But God will only entrust the fish of the seas with those who are faithful to him and with those who he is well pleased. The Hebrew letter Nun is one that expresses humility and submission. God will also only bring this type of increase to one who is humble. Recall James 4 and 6 that says, He exalts the humble, but he resists the proud. The way in which the Lord is exalting you is through the radiance of his glory upon you. The dimension and realm you are now in, God's glory, will attract people like moths to a flame. People will be favor favorably predisposed to the Lord within you and will bring the wealth of their nations with them. Arise and shine, O Zion, for the light of the Lord is upon you. The set time, yes, the appointed time for God to favor Zion is here. In your hands, he is placing the wealth of the nations and even hidden treasures. As the numerical value is 50 for this 14th Hebrew letter, this is indeed a time of jubilee. As the Lord turns your captivity, Zion, you will indeed be like one who dreamed. If only you understood the vast resources, I heard vast resources that the Lord is bringing your way. God is saying right now, I will honor those who have honored me, who have been faithful in their commitments and have never left me. To those who gave up everything, I shall give everything. So how is the Lord doing this? He said that he is increasing platforms that have been dedicated to his glory. So those people whom this word is for, if you have a platform on YouTube, TikTok, whatever social platform you have, prepare yourself for increase. This is going to be confirmation. For some of you, you have seen unexpected growth out of nowhere. And the Lord is saying that this is because you have dedicated your platform for his glory. Everything it is that you have been doing is so that he could be glorified, even when no one was watching, even when you seemed as if you were being looked over. The Lord says, prepare for increase in this area. There will be increase in clientele and increased exposure in your businesses, okay? Um, some of you are transitioning from domestic travel to international travel. I just feel the Holy Ghost so strongly right now. And Father, I just thank you, Lord, for your presence being present in this word. 
For some of you, he is broadening your prophetic horizons, okay? Seek him more about what that means for you. And then he also said there will be a rise in Zebulun and Issachar partnerships. Okay, so this could just be like people that you come into business with, right? But also for some of you, hallelujah, hallelujah, this will be the dynamic of your kingdom marriage. Your husband shall have the Zebulun anointing greatly increased upon his life. Okay, and then the wife, the tribe of Issachar. I released a prophetic word about this maybe a few months ago. And so for those people who don't understand, Zebulun, they were the fishers of the sea, okay? They were the tribe that had access to the ports. When you have access to the ports of a city, come on, Holy Spirit, you control that city. There's great authority for people who are in entrepreneurship and who control the market, okay? Because they control the market, right? The, the ups and the downs, the, the ebbs and the flow. And so what happened was the blessing of the tribe of Zebulun and the tribe of Issachar was always jointed. Okay, and the purpose for this was there's a partnership. So Zebulun would be out in the seas uh, acquiring the wealth, catching the fish, right? But then Issachar, they were the ones that discerned the times and the seasons of the Lord. We know that on the fourth day of creation was when the Lord created the, the, greater, the greater light and the lesser light, right? The sun and the moon. It was the day in which he created the stars for us to be able to discern the times and the seasons, the marks and the skies so that we will know what is going on, okay? For a lot of people, this is representative of that 444, okay? Your marriage will be a sign and a wonder, but also more importantly, there shall be this Issachar anointing that rests upon the wife, okay? And also the Zebulun anointing that will rest upon the husband. The Lord said, vast and mighty marketplace exploits, but also tremendous soul harvest, okay? Um, the Hebrew letter noon, it also looks like seed sprouts. You and your husband are seeds when you enter into this marriage. You will be in seed sprout form. So the Lord will already increase you in some way. But when you two join together with God's light, with his glory upon your marriage, you two coming together. Come on, Holy Spirit. You two. Hallelujah. We're speaking about fiery marriages. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. This is just all coming out. Thank you, Lord. We're speaking about fiery marriages. When I say fiery, you and your husband are cherubims. When two cherubims join together, come on, Holy Spirit, you form a mercy seat. And when you form a mercy seat. You create a space for the glory of God to dwell. Come on. Where on the world can we create a place for the, the fullness, the vastness of God's glory to dwell? Come on now. Anywho, so when you and your husband are in these seed forms, you're entering into this marriage because remember, as I say many times, marriage is a womb. God's light comes into that. God's glory. It's God's light. It's going to cause tremendous growth. Your marriage will be a spectacle for all to see. And the Lord is going to use y'all greatly in the kingdom. For those people, you already, this is confirmation. You are, some of y'all are already married. Your husband is definitely a businessman and you are a woman of the tribe of Issachar, okay? You discern the times and the seasons. And the beauty of this partnership was that the woman would tell the man, or not the woman, <laughs> Issachar would tell Zebulun the good time to go out into the market, the good time to do this. So what is the Lord saying? And what is the best strategy to do right now? Okay, so I'm just putting that out there. Um, and then also speaking of this fire, thank you, Holy Spirit. Who he's telling me to slow down. <laughs> ah, y'all, I just feel God so strongly right now. Thank you, Lord. So back to this 444. Fiery ones. Y'all do your own research into that. So the rising of God's glory upon your life will cause two things. One, you will be summoned by people you don't know. So some of y'all expect calls and invitations, etc. Be ready to go, okay? And the apostolic anointing, okay? For some of you, this is a rise of the apostolic anointing on your life. Apostolic, aka the sent ones, where the Lord sends you to a place to build because apostles build framework, okay? Um, they, they build new, uh, what do you call it? like revivals, they start new things in the earth. The building, the framework is built on the back of the apostles. For some of you, this is that rise of your apostolic call, okay? And then the second thing God said is vindication. Ezekiel 33 and 33. If you read Ezekiel 33, it is where the Lord was speaking to Ezekiel 
And he was saying, a lot of people love to hear the words that you speak. They treat you like you're singing a beautiful lullaby. A lot of people have heard the words that some of you have spoken and they treat you like a beautiful lullaby. Oh, you are an amazing attraction. Oh, let's go hear what the man of the Lord or the woman of the Lord is saying today. But those people have been hearers and not doers of the word of God. But the Lord says some of you will receive vindication because some people have not been believing that the Lord has sent you. Some people has not been believing that the man of a prophet rest upon you and woe be unto them because those people they are about to see that yes indeed the Lord was with you the entire time when these words are fulfilled that you have spoken they will indeed see that you are truly a prophet sent by the Lord God, that the Lord has anointed you. And not only has he anointed you, but this is your season of appointment. And that is why the Lord is saying, arise, Zion, your light has come, awaken from the slumber, because the glory of the Lord is resting upon you. And that glory is bringing in attraction, okay? The Lord said, Psalm 37 and 6, New English Translation. He will vindicate you in broad daylight and publicly defend your just cause. Your, your defender is coming, uh, your defender, aka your vindicator, is coming publicly for you. You will have such a public vindication. People, they can still talk, but they won't be able to deny the glory of God that is resting upon your life. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. I just heard, yes, indeed, it will not be long now. For some of you, this growth is about to happen. This word being spoken right now is causing that is causing that shift in the spiritual realm for you. Some of you already know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So receive it. But this is what the Lord is saying. He says, I am, I'm putting, I am putting, I am putting the abundance of the seas I am giving to thee. I am putting the wealth of nations in your hands. I am trusting you with a greater harvest of souls. There are some people that have platforms, but they don't value my, the souls of the people. Some people, souls and whatever, whatever you call them, the, the people that have had some large souls that they've responsible for and they haven't been doing what the Lord really needed them to do. Their souls, their, their platforms are being stripped away. Hallelujah. This is also a time of judgment. Some people's platforms are being stripped away. Don't be surprised if, if some of your favorites begin to fall. And no, we do not rejoice. Because scripture says love does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but instead it rejoices in truth. And love covers a multitude of sins. So for those people in love and in prayer, we cover them. But this is what is happening. Hallelujah. The wealth of the nations. The wealth of the nations. The wealth of the nations. Do you not know how much wealth is stored in the soul of a, like, a, a person? And then God said they will be favorably predisposed, favorably predisposed towards you. Who am I? Who am I, God, that you would do this for me? Hallelujah. And who is, who are you that he would do it for you? Hallelujah. So as the Lord takes you high, stay low. As the Lord takes you high, stay low. I love you so much. And the prophetic word for today and I'll talk to you guys later